Not at all. Stormy all of a sudden. Silvando, this ship of yours is not about to sink, is it? <laughs> Don't mention the S word! I'll have us out of this in just a jiffy! Voice, where is it coming from? Oh, yeah. oh, oh.
And what, might I ask, are you staring at? Is there something stuck to my face? All right, all right. It is rather an imposing appearance, I agree. Why don't we try another? Still no good. Well, if at first you don't succeed... <laughs> Not settling on a particular form, hmm? That rather makes me think you might not know who I am. In your world, I am known as the Seer. I take on different appearances for different people, you see. By which I mean to say that I look different depending on who is doing the looking. But enough about me. How's the fishing? Caught anything? You're a terrible liar, you know. You're not ready yet, you see. When the time comes, you will know it. When the fish finally takes the bait, you must be ready to reel it in. But until then, you have no choice but to wait patiently. That is just the way of life. You know... I have the strangest feeling I've met one of your companions. Eric, was it? Well, no matter. We are not here to discuss him. Come, let us go inside. We can save the fishing for another day. Take a seat. Make yourself at home. Now, the fact that you're here makes me wonder if you might have taken a bit of a wrong turn somewhere. Hold still for just a moment. So that's it. Worried we've lost the power of the luminary, are we? Hmm. Well, I'm afraid there's not much I can do about that. But there is one thing I can say. You may think that your power has been taken from you by the Lord of Shadows. But power cannot be taken. No more than it can be touched or tasted. Especially not the power of the luminary. Still no idea of what I'm talking about, huh? Well, no matter. I think that's enough for now. Let me leave you with this thought. When the time comes, you will know. You will feel the tug on the line, and you will know. As in fishing... So in life. Oh, that's right. You're drowning, aren't you? That won't do at all. Well, don't fret. A certain sacred tree tells me it's not your time just yet. Right. We'd better get you woken up, hadn't we? You are the luminary, after all. You have rather an important task to be getting on with. Go. Save the world.
Darling, you're alive! Oh, thank goodness! <sighs> when you took that tumble into the sea back there, we all thought you were done for, laddie. Oh, it was terrible. We tried to fish you out, but you slipped beneath the waves before we could get to you. But then, well, it was nothing short of a miracle. There was a bright light, and suddenly, there you were, floating up from the seabed. Somehow we managed to pull you out of the water, give that big slimy so-and-so the slip, and get here to safety. I still don't know quite how we did it. What's the matter, honey? You look like you've seen a ghost. You're kidding. You were fishing and you met a person called the Seer and they turned into a dog? Oh, come on, silly Billy. You were just dreaming, that's all. You were out for a long time. You have been through quite an ordeal. You need rest. As do we all. Come. Mm hmm. Whoop. <laughs> Put courage in your heart and lightning in your hand. Time enough for staring out to sea tomorrow, laddie. Come on, let's get you to bed.
Free this restless knight from his prison of despair. So we all had the same dream, eh? Just like people have been saying. The poor knight bemoaning his fate, asking to go back. Oh, it was tragic. He looked so desperate. I wish there was something we could do to help, but we don't know who he is, or even where he is. Uh, maybe not. But that was Dracilian armor he was wearing. There's no doubt about that. What do you say, laddie? Shall we go and see what's become of Dundrasil now that this blasted darkness has engulfed the world?
ramblings. was never in doubt. is ours.
and stay down. was in ruins the last time we came, but this, this is something else. Ah, where was I? Ah, yes, it should be around here somewhere. Would you boys do me a favour and shift this little lot? Well, don't just stand there, darling. If I'm getting my hands dirty, you are too. Where does this stairway lead, Lord Robert? To an underground passage that runs beneath the castle. It was meant to allow the royal family to flee should Dunvercell ever come under attack. Right, let's get in there and see if we can find some clues to the identity of our restless knight, shall we? Such pain, such despair. I'm 
keen to have a wee chat with our friend here, but something tells me he's got other things in mind.
a little. would make you? Erwin, last king of Dundrasil, just as I thought. A great man, and a fine warrior too, as you've just witnessed. And, most importantly of all, your father. I'm sorry the two of you had to meet like this. What happened to you, Erwin? Come on, laddie. Look at me. What in the... At last you have come. Long have I waited for a 
great honour to be invited to celebrate this most special of days with you. The birth of your son and heir is a source of great joy and happiness to us all. Congratulations, your majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Aye, this is a momentous day for Dundrasil. I am truly humbled to be lucky enough to celebrate it with you all. My dear Sultan, King Gustav, allow me to welcome you both to Dundrasil. You honor us with your presence. The honor is all ours, King Erwin. Truly, it has been far too long. A thousand thanks for preparing such lavish festivities. Though, of course, we are not here merely to celebrate. Today's Colloquy of Kings shall determine the fate of Erdrea for generations to come. I, for one, mean to see that my people's interests are well represented. 
you will forgive me if I grow a little passionate at times. It is the first time the rulers of the Four Kingdoms have ever gathered under one roof, you know. A momentous occasion indeed. But the reason itself is a momentous one, of course. The birth of an heir to the title of Luminary is an event of unparalleled significance. Indeed it is. Thank you once again for agreeing to meet so readily. Now, I have some final preparations to make before we convene the colloquy. I will come and fetch you when we're ready to begin. Guards, I don't suppose any of you have seen King Carnelian? Yes, sire. King Carnelian is walking the grounds with Lord Robert, sire. King Carnelian, Lord Robert, I will be convening the colloquy shortly, if you'd like to make ready. Lord Robert informs me that the boy bears the mark, that he is the luminary reborn. That's right, I. I've decided to present him to you all at the colloquy. The sight of so many people gathered to celebrate his birth has brought home to me how important he is. How much hope the light he brings represents. Save it for the meeting, Owen. Don't take it to heart, laddie. The fate of all Erdria hangs in the luminary now. Not everyone's going to be happy about that. Right, it's nearly time. Why don't you go and fetch the wee one from Eleanor's chambers? <laughs> <laughs> 